Stranger Things Volume 2, it's here. It's two episodes long, two very long episodes long, but it was interesting. And by the end of it, I was actually really looking forward to season five. Let's talk about why. So as I mentioned, Volume 2 of Stranger Things Season 4, it's a long title. Both episodes were quite long. The first one was an hour and a half and the second one was 2 hours and 20 minutes long. I don't fully understand why they didn't just do 4 1 hour episodes. But there you go, they decided to go that way. And honestly out of the 2 episodes you probably could have cut out 30 minutes to an hour of just filler and close-ups and there was just so much they could have cut out but in saying that they wrapped up the season really well there were certainly some interesting points they brought all three of the main stories together well i suppose it was four or five stories at the beginning of volume two you had 11 in her science place you had mike and friends looking for 11 you had joyce and hopper and friends in russia you had dustin and co looking for vecna and going to that other creepy house and you also had Natalie Dyer's character what was her name again she's like one of the main characters in the show she was having her own confrontation with Vecna and of course then you've got the whole townspeople who are out to kill everybody especially this one basketball high school guy but I gotta say despite both episodes being quite long I found my interest being peaked all the way through the one person in the series who I think benefited massively over season four was Sadie Sink's character, Max. Because in season three, and I think it was season three she came in, maybe it was season two, but I remember season three, she was definitely a key character. She wasn't really a character I cared that much for. She was in there and she was certainly one of the characters, but I wasn't really that emotionally attached to that character. It perhaps oversells it there. But you get my point, she wasn't a character, she wasn't one of the main characters that you were made to care for in that season. She was there, she did her job, she did well, which in the end, when it came to her big moments, you really were cheering for her, you are really rooting for her, and we're ultimately left on a cliffhanger of what's going to happen with her. I'm going to have to talk about spoilers here. So if you haven't seen Stranger Things Volume 2, and you're just trying to find out whether you should watch it, I'd highly recommend watching it. It's better than Volume 1, but it's long. It's four hours across two episodes. You might want to pace yourself for it. In my opinion, the part with Max, when Vecna has her at the end, and Eleven has to just watch her, she's on the door and she's pinned back when slowly we see Max's arms twist like all the other victims one by one as Eleven is slowly getting to where she needs to be as she hears Mike's voice that was done really well because it makes you go oh crap here's this character which we now all care about as I mentioned and she's going to meet this fate that we know what happens when that starts once that first bone goes you know they're in trouble and it seems like Eleven has just saved her at the final moment it brings us to the heartbreak moment then when we see her being held by Lucas and she can speak but she says she can't feel anything and she can't see and we see her eyes are glazed over and she can't move her arms and then we see that Eleven inside her mind is still holding Max's hand that part I thought was done brilliantly and then we get the holy fuck moment when she slips away and Vecna gets his fourth victim and all hell literally breaks loose and that's where the setup for season five began to come in to play big cracks develop across Hawkins and later on it begins to look like the upside down in Hawkins all the characters are reunited at the end apart from of course Max is in hospital and Eleven goes into her mind to try and retrieve her or find or speak to her or just see what's going on inside her head and it's just darkness nothing there whatsoever is there any coming back from that who knows now personally i thought that part where she was in hospital at 11 saved her a little bit kind of watered down the death in its first place we were told going into the series there was going to be a death count and there certainly was papa was killed it looks like eddie was killed despite being a fan favorite throughout the series it looks like max was killed that high school bully basketball guy he got torn in half and then it kind of looked like Vecna was going to be killed here's the thing I've said this many times on this channel regarding every movie in the world if you do not see the character die in terms of completely dead no chance of revival splattered on the pavement blood everywhere then there's still always a chance that character could come back and with Eddie we never actually saw Eddie fully properly die so there's potential that something could happen there and then with Max they put her to a point where 
sure she's in a coma and through 11 going into her mind we can see there's not a whole lot going on inside that head but there's potential that you know at the very end of season five max comes back to life and saves the day there's potential that eddie is still alive in the upside down some way if you do not see a character fully completely dead no sign of life no chance of recovery they can always come back and that might still happen in season five which does water down the death count however i did feel that those emotional moments with eddie because i think they did a great job with eddie building him up throughout the series and with max who again i mentioned I felt she was the one who benefited the most from season four with her character development. She was one that you really felt sorry for right at the end. And we'll eagerly await to see what happens to her in season five. There was so much happening throughout the series. Arguably too much happening because there's so many key characters in the show now. There's so much to keep track of and so much to remember. Even to the point where when some of the characters reunite near the end and Jonathan runs to Nancy, I completely forgot they were a thing altogether. Because they haven't interacted whatsoever in this season, I completely forgot that was even a thing. But at the very end of the episode, when they're setting up for season 5, Will is the one who could feel the presence of Vecna still there. He's the one who says that Vecna is still alive. He's hurt but he's plotting, he's planning, he's going to come again. And that's when the world starts to turn and become like the upside down. And Will having that important line at the end, the slowly building of Will throughout the series, it looks like Will's gonna have his biggest role yet in season five. For Noah Shaps, it's probably well-deserved at this point because he's gone four seasons where he was kind of the main character, but didn't have anything to do. Like he was the main focal point of the story in the first few seasons, but he was in the Upside Down season one. He was taken over by the demon season two. Season three, he was in it. Season four, he was in it. And then season five, he might actually get a key role. He's been in the show for five seasons and, you know, he kind of deserves some sort of key storyline at this point where he can actually affect the story, not just be in a coma or in the Upside Down or something like that. But overall, despite it being long, I did find myself really enjoying Stranger Things Volume 2 and I'd love to hear your opinions on the series in its entirety, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Let me know all about it in the comments section below. But it does beg the question of if you lived in Hawkins and you've had monsters attacking a city and kids going missing and kids getting demonically turned inside out and then big rifts turn up in your town, why the hell would you still stay in that town? Go somewhere else. Go somewhere where that stuff doesn't happen. Like literally everywhere.